Hello, good evening, and welcome to another editing video. Now today I had a little bit of time, so I decided to cook myself something extra special and take photos of it. So that's what I did. And I took a lot of photos. Uh, I took 156, but you're gonna actually wanna divide that number by four, now that I'm thinking about it. So it's a lot, it's a lot less significant. I would say four, three, four, four. Uh, maybe about 40, 40 photos in all, because it does three different exposures, and then it, I have my camera composited to HDR, because sometimes those do look better. Not all the time. Sometimes I'll end up going with the raw image. But today, for this video's purposes, I'm going to take my last take, which I spotted as one of the better photos in the group. And I'm going to go ahead and edit that. Now, I already have that up on my desktop, so I already sorted it out here. Um, so let's go ahead. And I did edit this previously, but we're going to edit it again. Sometimes I like to do multiple edits. So we're going to import that into our Lightroom. So go ahead and add our photo. Uh, okay. Yes, I know that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and search for that photo right now. Hmm. Okay, well, it seems I need to get rid of this photo, so I'm just going to hit delete photo. I can hit backspace. I already have this saved somewhere else. I want to get rid of it now. So I'm going to go ahead and add that photo again. Excuse me. Okay, looks good. Looks like the old photo I was working with. So now the first thing that I want to do is that I just want to check some of the brightness levels, the exposure. Okay, and I like to do drastic back and forth just to see what I'm working with here. I want the contrast and the exposure just to get an idea of my my base ground and my extremes. Um, so that being said, let's go ahead. And now this photo right here, I like all of this going on. I got, well, it's a little, it's a little light actually. You know what, let's, let's check our exposure. I want that background to be nice and solid. So let's do it by just a little bit and up our contrast by just a smidge, just to try to get that black. So I see there's a little bit of, you know, there's a, just a touch a bit of color. I want a nice solid flat black. You know, I want to make this a dramatic photo. So let's go ahead. Now what I want to do is I want to highlight this area, okay? So let's go to our brush, select our size, okay? I'm gonna want it, because I want it, I want to get this area. So this looks about good. And let's see, let's see how much feather we want. Now feather just it increases the outer area. It's not as um, I would call it heavy. It's not a, as much of a powerful edit as the, the inside of the circle would be. So I'm going to want to just grab the edge of the leaf with the dish. And I think I could do it going out. I want that to be just a little less. I can get this in some even strokes. So let's go ahead. And... Let's work with that. Actually, let's make that just a touch smaller because of this edge right here. I don't want to get any of the black background because I like it that color. Ooh, oopsies. Let's go ahead and select all our items here. Okay, so now that that's all done, we're going to be able to highlight this whole area. And this is kind of our reference point. This is where we started at that blue dot. So I want to up the contrast and exposure because I want to make this photo pop a little more. Or at least the salad pop a little more. And this photo. 
because the photo is a salad. Uh, excuse me, I still have a bit of a cold. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, um, so yeah, I want to up the exposure and the contrast. Okay. So I am doing this by eye in the present time. See how we got boom. So let's get it. I'm going to have to up that by a bit. I don't want it to start blooming and bleed all over the place and look unnatural. There's one complaint I do have about this photo. It's I has the I had to use uh, frozen raspberries, if you can tell. But they're still pretty good, but eh, looks like they could use a little help, but oh well. It's what I had to work with today. So let's check our highlights. Okay. Bring them all the way down. Okay, I want them up by about 26 looks good to me. And let's check our shadows too, because we want our shadows to pop. We want a lot of detail, especially in the focal point, which are the raspberries in this photo, to definitely stand out. Let's go ahead, check our whites a little more. The whites are going to be make the, the, the area a little brighter in the white section. Um, <laughs> now let's check blacks, which is going to be a lot of our shadowing details. Just want to get them detailed enough. I like my photos to look sharp. At least these types of photos I like to look sharp. Because that's what I'm really going for right now. I don't want it to be too sharp that uh, you lose, the, you lose the, the, the nice smoothness of the camera like that. Um, that's not what I'm going for here. I do want a little bit. I, I don't want a whole lot of noise in this photo. So I'm not going to really play with the texture too much or the clarity. <clears throat> okay, our D Haze. Right there, it's gonna. I don't know exactly what it does, but um, okay, welcome back. I had to cut real quick because uh, my battery died, but anyway, in that time, I got to uh, figure out exactly what dehazing uh, means. And hazing in the photo is basically just the fog or mist that appears, and you control how much it is. Do you see that when I go down, there's like a mist, and when I go up, it kind of disappears. So, I really don't want it to be misty too much. I want to check it and see what I want for highlights and everything. I don't want it too sharp, like I said. I don't want it too sharp and too sharp on the color either. I want to balance my colors. So that looks about good in this photo. And the saturation, okay, it's plus 14 as it is. Let's kind of play with that a little bit and see what we so see what we want. I do want this to be colorful, but I don't want it. I think plus five is reasonable for me. Okay, um, let's check our noise too. And, there, and I don't want a whole lot of noise in this photo. I don't want to do a whole lot of noise reduction. I don't want it to look too smooth. But I want it to be detailed enough so it grabs attention, but I don't want it to be super detailed because then there's too much noise. And that doesn't work for me. And I'm not going to work with those right now. Ooh, what did I do? Okay, so if you can see, uh, at least on this edit, in comparison to the, excuse me, in comparison to the original photo, that we have a whole lot of more. What I did is I made the the salad pop, but I didn't play with the background. The background's still nice and flat black, and everything. I'm happy with all the stuff outside, so I didn't really do a lot of work to it. So if you can see the difference, I can definitely see the difference. Um, this is a much flatter photo, no highlights, no detailing. Well, there is detailing from the camera, but um, this is definitely a raw image <laughs> and it would be likened as such by um, 
any professional that would be evaluating this for any kind of clearance for uh, especially for I, I am they have all those type of rules in any type of gallery that distributes I would hopefully like this to get distributed they don't always get accepted um, I don't think I've, I've never run into problems with food before but I did prepare this so if they do need anything uh, released um, I could definitely sign it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. That's going to end this video. Uh, I am more in the process of working on getting a drawing table. I think that would be a lot better for me to do diagrams. But So that's why the PowerPoint is kind of sitting on the back burner. But I should have that eventually. Uh, as soon as things uh, get going in the direction that they need to go to progress uh, for that type of work. And there's definitely some drawing stuff I would like to do in the future. So yeah, stay tuned and hopefully I will have that deal worked out within the next uh, week or two. All right, uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I think I said that in my other video, but anyway, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, hopefully I will too. And have a great night. Thank you.